Bitcoin weekly update, October 14th, 2023. This is a look at Bitcoin on the daily level. Each one of these candles is a daily look, right? Each, one, each candle represents one day, right? So normally when I'm scalp trading during the week, I don't uh, I'll look at this, but not a, usually we zoom in further. But on the weekly update, I'm zooming out, okay, just to show you what it looks like on the daily. So really, it's it's been traveling over the last, well, ever since here, August 17th, almost two months, right? Right inside this zone right here. We've been two months just traveling right here, right? And you can see there's a couple big green candles, which gives me some suspicion on some things. But this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've written, I've drawn out, so don't let these lines confuse you. But what I'm going to do is back out a little bit, even further, okay, even further. So you can see way back, even towards the beginning of the year. So you can see where they've traveled. Now look, this is uh, fascinating. So these purple lines right here, right here, right here, and right here, or what I call spider lines, and maybe you're familiar with them, maybe not. And look at how they've the the price. Look at how it kept hitting it right here, hitting it, hitting it, and boom, dropped. Kept hitting it here, hitting it here. This is all drawn out before it happened, and boom, went up to here, hitting this, hitting this. It goes down, up, down, up. It's, just, it's amazing. It's almost like a game. You know, <laughs> it's like. But they're hitting these spiral lines. Okay, so now what I've done just for fun is I like to speculate like where I think the price might go next. So I, this is my drawing here, this the item here. I just drew this out just as, as a speculation to see where the price might go. And this is on the daily time frame. But look, when I drew it, look at this. It, when I started this analogy, it was from here. Then we did go up to here. My suspicion is that we're going to come down to here next. So I'm looking for shorts myself at the moment. But you never know. you got to watch watch each zone because it can turn at any time. But potentially we can go here, back up to here, back up to here, back up to here, and then back down. And what's interesting is I really feel like on the big picture of things, it could go back down. And if it does, I'm okay with that because it's better prices to buy in at. So this is the this is my next major level of support that I'm looking for, and we look we love to have some nice entries right here, even if it's just spot long term. But that's just me. But I'm just uh just playing it out, okay? So this is where we're at right now. See this, okay? But now just for fun, I'm gonna zoom in. This is Levels System. It's part of the I Am Academy. As a member, you get this software. This software. Is only available through the IM Academy. It's the only way to access it. And it is some amazing software. Now, if you look over here, you can actually trade any of anything with it. Bitcoin, look at all these other cryptocurrencies. There's a, there's a lot of lot of things to trade from. But as an intermediate trader, I'm just right now just focused on on Bitcoin. Because I'm I'm just learning and I'm I'm still in learning mode. So I have a lot. I see things. I learn new things every day. But this is this is what I'm looking at right now. Potentially to come back down to here, right around 26. What is this? 26.022, and we're right now around 20. We're at 26.8. So I'm looking at potentially 20, right around 26,000 as the next um, point. That's that's just my speculation, with potential bounce, potential bounce up to here after that so we'll see we'll see so i'm gonna still i'm gonna uh, zoom in because there's a lot of tools on this program that we can utilize and so i went from a daily level let's go to the hour level because when i'm okay here we go all right so now on the hourly level see we're really testing what a this support line right here so it's testing all this and this is a support line i feel like 
or not support, but resistance. Because resisting going above that. And it may, it may not. We'll see. You never know, but we play, we just play the cards that we're dealt with. That's what I do. All right. And then, so this is where I'm at on the hourly. I'm watching these zones right here. Personally, I have some, some orders set right here for shorts. Right around this area right here. But that's just me. So let's hop over to swipe coin. Now this is more for scalping, right? This is what we just looked at was on the hourly time frame. But right now here, I'm sharing with you is on the 15 minute time frame. See that? This is 15 minute time frame. I'm going to zoom out a little bit though, just for fun, just to kind of show you what we've been looking at the last few days. Okay, I don't want to go too much further than that. But these two zones right here, we've just been, look at that. We've just been traveling in this area right here. All right. But I feel like what I'm looking at here is that it's really testing this. Will it break above and close and go on up more? It could. Um, and potentially we have a low RSI here, which sometimes it's going to, it eventually will go back up here, but sometimes it can travel back up here without the price going up. And so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But swipe coin is a uh, super trend is this indicator right here. This blue line is the price line. The red and green line is a, is a tool or an indicator called super trend. And a lot of us say that super trend is your friend because it helps a lot. Right now it's telling us that the Bitcoin is selling. It's going down, arrow down, it's telling us that. So I'm currently in a short and I'm in long really. You can be long and short at the same time. I have spot BTC which means I just bought it and I'm holding on to it for the long term because I do believe in the long term the price will go up but in the scalp trading world we can come you can go be in and out of the markets and it's not for everybody but it's um I feel like it's where I'm at on my journey it's, it's something that I really feel led to do but this is where we're at this is what I'm looking at looking for that and then keeping in mind the big picture I'm waiting to see how all this plays out right here if we, I'm really watching this zone right here. If we get too far above this and above this right here, then I, I feel like anything could happen. We might go back up. But if this breaks below and stays, I believe that we could end up coming back down to well, here for sure, 20, 26.6, but potentially down to the 26. Uh, 26,000, you know, even, like right around here. Right around here. I believe it's possible to come down here or lower, but this is kind of what I'm looking at in my speculation. But so that's the thing. So if you want to learn how you can do your own speculation, you can trade on your own terms and your style. Everybody's different. Everybody has different styles. This is this is on the hourly time frame, just so you know. Okay. Well, this is what I'm looking at right now, waiting to see how this plays out. It is the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday can, can be considered, amongst many of the professionals, high-risk trade days. If I was being ultra-conservative, I would trade Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those would be the best trading days because they just, eventually, the price has to go somewhere. And then when it does, it gives you a clue of where it's going to go next. So, I keep that in mind. I usually... I'm, I don't want to say careful, but I'm just really specific, even more specific when it's like a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday or a Monday because they can be tricky, tricky days. So we even have Monday, we even have a Monday box, which is not going to pop up just yet because, um, oh, oh, let me do that. Okay. The Monday box right here. Here's a Monday box. This is last Monday. Look at this. This is last Monday right here. So we have a Monday box that tells you we have a whole strategy just playing off Mondays, okay? That was last Monday. Look where we're at now. This is Saturday right now. So we'll see what happens on this coming Monday. But you can you can have a strategy basically where you come out on Monday and you can strategize based on what happened on Monday. So that's it. Uh, and all right. I'm going to finish strong. And I'll be back.